Hello guys, my name is Vaughny. Welcome to another tutorial coming back at you again. Um, this is actually going to be a follow-up tutorial on my uh, Perfect Green Screen version 1, which I did uh, later last year. This is actually going to be a version 2, which I think is a, a, a more accurate and better method of actually getting a perfect green screen. Well, near perfect at least. Uh, so let's not waste any time. Grab your coffee. And uh, let's crack on with the video. Now I am going to assume you have basic knowledge of OBS, how to uh, add scenes and sources and things like that. So I'm not going to dive too deep into that aspect of things. I'm just going to dive into the actual green screen on how to get it as near perfect as of a green screen as you can. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and waste no time. Open up OBS. I've got mine pinned to my taskbar down here. Uh, as you can see, I've got it all set to default, so you can follow along with me step by step, making this as simple as possible. So let's go ahead and rename this scene, scene one. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna hit rename. Uh, I wanna name this camera, camera source. Fantastic. Right, now we've got a camera source over here. We're gonna need to add a source, which is our webcam, uh, DSLR camera you are gonna use, etc., etc. So let's go down and hit the plus button down in sources, video capture device, and then I'm gonna rename this Sony A5100 because that's the camera I will be using. It should pick it up. Boom, there we go. Picked up our camera. So I'm gonna leave everything as default for now. Click OK. You might have a webcam or something like that. It isn't gonna be the same as this. So I'm gonna mute this audio down here because I'm not using my Sony. It's got a built-in camera, um, microphone, sorry. So I'm not gonna be using that. I'm going to be just using my mixer that I use. So I'm gonna just mute that, hide this so I don't have to see it. That might be a step you guys need to do with your webcam if you're not gonna use the audio from it. I suggest you don't use the audio from your webcam because it's likely not going to be great. But anyway, we've got our camera set up in here. What are we missing? We're missing a green screen, right? So we're gonna go ahead and grab a green screen. Now, some of you may not have an Elgato green screen like I have behind me, but even a painted wall will do this, this color green. Uh, a, a material that's ironed well will do. Uh, it doesn't have to be an expensive green screen uh, at all, really. So um, now we've got a green screen. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop in the corners. So I'm gonna hold the Alt key and grab this corner here by just clicking. If you can't see this box, just make sure you click on the Sony A5100 here. Click on this corner here, hold down Alt, and you'll see it turn green, and that means you're cropping the image rather than, you know, resizing. So I'm gonna do it with this edge here, and what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out anything that's not green. So I've got my edges here, I'm gonna just click off, make sure I've got everything cool. So we're gonna to need to remove this green screen using a chroma key. So what we're gonna do is gonna click our uh, Sony A5100 or a camera source down here. Right click, filters. Then we've got our effect filters here. We're gonna click the plus button and we're gonna to go to chroma key. Leave it as it is, filter name is fine. And as you can see, it's done, uh, it's done a good job. Um, I'm happy with it, but as you can see this corner down here still not perfect so i've got the two windows side by side and this is the little trick i'm going to show you that's going to really now your green screen whether it be um a different shade of green not really like perfectly green this should negate that problem so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click the eye icon on the chroma key and just hide it for now so we still got our green and i'm going to show you why now so key color type green instead of green we're going to go down and we're going to go to custom so now we've got key color here, which is an automatic green color that it suggests. And while it's good, it's not perfect. So we're gonna click select color over here. And now we're gonna click pick screen color. And what that does is now you can now go ahead and pick anything on your screen that is the color. So the reason why I turned this chroma key off earlier here is so we can actually pick this green color. So. Let's go ahead and pick the green color. So click, boom, like that, and that locks in now. And let's click OK. Right, so let's go ahead and put this back on now. We're gonna disappear completely, but don't worry. I'll get us back 
boom so it disappeared completely what that is is the similarity slider needs to be pulled down see now the similarity slider that's a really hard word to say doesn't need to be as high anymore because you actually physically picked the green you are using so now you can really hone in this green this particular green you have because it might not be the same shade as mine or anybody else's now you can really nail that in to get a near perfect green screen and as you can see this corner down here is becoming a little bit better i like my harder edges so i'm going to turn the smoothness down a bit now don't worry if you're losing a bit of saturation in your face i am going to show you how to put that saturation back in again so let's just go ahead and just try and get every little bit i want to try and get this bit in the corner here so i'm just going to tweak this until i get it right again it might be different for you guys as well you might not have the same numbers as me Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We've got some kind of reflections coming off here that I'm not too bothered about. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is batteries sellotaped to this arm so it weighs it down a little bit more so it keeps it, it keeps it down so it doesn't raise up a little bit behind the scenes for you. So now I've got it to a point where I'm quite happy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a color correction after this now because the saturation in our face is a little bit dull. So I'm going to do this by adding a color correction by clicking the plus button here over an effects filter on our camera source and adding a color correction so now i've added the color correction after the chroma key we can actually mess around with the saturation and it doesn't affect the chroma key whatsoever again this is a slightly better version of how i did my previous one you're always learning you're always learning that there's easier ways to do things and this is a much easier way so let's go ahead i'm going to bump the saturation up a tiny bit make sure my lips are not as red mm -hmm. Look like I've got some lipstick on. I also like to tweak the gamma a little bit. Let's put it down. And I like to tweak the contrast just a tad. Make everything look a bit, the blacks a bit darker and things like that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy. Done my little minor tweaks. And I'm kind of happy with how this looks so far. So let's go ahead and close this filters. Let's go ahead and open this back up. Right, so now we've got a camera and a green screen sorted. I'm going to quickly add another scene with a background and show you how that looks. So let's go ahead, go plus on the scene. So we're going to name this, let's name it home for the sake of it. Click home. Right, and I'm just moving my scene up here. So it's just above. That's just me being a bit anal. So I'm going to go to home scene here. And first of all, we're going to add an image. So I'm going to name this uh, background again. You can have any background you want. I've made my own here, which is a Vaughny purple background. 1920 by 1080. So now we've got a background. We're gonna add a, a scene over that now. So let's go to plus, add a scene, and we're gonna add our camera source scene, which we just worked on earlier. Boom. So the reason why I added this as a scene and not a source is because this camera source scene here is just a hidden scene that I'm gonna put within other scenes that acts as my camera manager as such. So for example, if I click my camera source here and then go over the sources, my Sony A5100, maybe you wanna swap out for another camera, which I do regularly for different shots and things like that. Uh, you can just switch it right here in the devices, switch it to another camera that you may wanna use. And then whatever scene you have put this camera source scene within, because you might have put it in multiple, it affects all of those now without having to go through and change all your other scenes. It's kind of complicated to get your head around, but I think it helps you manage your scenes better if you have a multi-camera setup, especially if you have a lot of scenes. Right, back in our home screen here, as you can see, I've added my uh, scene within my home scene, my scene being my camera source scene. And I could just put that anywhere I want now. So there you have it, guys. That's my near perfect green screen version two video. I hope this helped you. And if you like the video, please like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, follow me on Twitch, follow me on all my social medias. It's at Vaughny everything, V W O R M Y. And I will see you in the next tutorial video. Peace. What the, what's this? What's, what's that? What is that? What is that?